Shut up and sit down. Hi, hello. I'm Cyber Earth Guru. Thank you for watching. Uh, so this is going to be a video about uh, this uh, camera mount that I created for my CR10. So uh, I've been uh, I got the CR10 a few weeks or so ago, and I um, also got the OctoPi set up for it. And and rather than buying a webcam like I did for my Perusa here, uh, I bought the Raspberry Pi camera, and so. I've been searching uh, Thingiverse and you know Pinshape and all the rest of the websites looking for an appropriate camera mount and I haven't been able to find anything so went off decided to design my own and so this is just going to be a video kind of quick walk through hopefully quick about how I designed it and what it looks like and um, and uh, how it turned out so uh, let me uh, let's jump right to it thanks everyone. Okay so here we are in Fusion you can see here in front of you was my original design um it is basically a little base here with um <clears throat> a, a bolt that clamps down on a ball joint and then this bolt here here let me zoom in uh that actually uh has this little t-slot uh that goes into the 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 2020 t-slots of the cr10 and then clamps down on it with a little point here goes down into the actual v group of the t-slot um, and then it's designed such that you can print as many of these as you want uh, to you know create various angles and then the little ball joint here for uh, the camera mount and then the camera sits inside the mount you can see how the cable comes down through the uh, the box here so this turns out when I printed it um, uh, you know I'll show some videos of it um, you can kind of see it here um, it uh, uh, no matter how much you tighten down on the screw, it just wasn't tight enough to hold everything into place. So uh, I switched over to a completely different design, which was uh, more of a straight uh, pattern here. And you can see here what you have is uh, the same sort of T-slot mount. Um, I did change the size of the bolt here. I made all the bolts bigger uh, just because it was easier to print and easier to get a hold of. Uh, and then a T-slot here. And then this, so this is a round little mount here where you can turn uh, the entire uh, unit around left and right and then extend the arm, make as many of these, um, these, uh, that guy right there, I mean, as many of those as you need as necessary. And then I took away from where the, uh, before the, the cable kind of came through the body, I just made a little U joint here to just make it a lot easier to get in. And I found it very difficult to feed the cable through. In fact, I was never able to actually get it right. So, um, some issues with this particular design. First off, this hole was a little bit too small, so getting the base onto, or the base of the arm onto the base of the unit was nearly impossible. I just um, had all sorts of trouble. Uh, some of the, the the bolts here, these handles were just too small uh, to effectively turn. And printing it here, you can see, let me try and, let's see, turn these guys off. Uh, get down to uh, that guy right there so you can see let me turn the camera off um, so you can see here how it prints it's 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 got like a little I don't know what you want to call that an L and an L right so no matter how you print it you need supports and I kind of wanted to print it uh, such that it didn't need supports but uh, it, that's just a design so I didn't like that so I, I went off and I uh, redesigned it um, again, let me turn things back on here. So a very, very nearly uh, identical design. Um, I made uh, the nuts here, the bolts, I should say, a little bit bigger. I added a little bolt here to, for this guy, which swivels to hold it into place. And you can see the design of this, uh, this bolt is a little bit different. It's only got uh, four handles instead of a whole bunch. This makes it a lot easier to grab because it's a lot smaller. Um, and then for this design here, you can see I can print it flat on this face right here, um, and then there's no need for supports. Uh, now some of the parts do need supports. Um, on this design actually, um, no matter how you printed it because of this little arm in the back, you either needed supports here across the back or you needed supports um, all on the inside. I chose to print it uh, from the bottom here, which means I didn't need supports here, but I did need supports all on the inside which made it a colossal pain uh, uh, to, to, to clean up. Um, 
So some uh, further issues with this I made, uh, you'll notice here that I made the bolt a little bit longer, um, or, or a little bit shorter I should say, it doesn't have the little V point. This was still too long as it turns out. And then uh, I actually broke uh, this, um, I don't know if you can see where it is, uh, uh, here we go. Um, this uh, guy kind of broke it off uh, when I put it in and turned the, the V joint. Um, the V uh, slot here, so I made this a little bit different. Um, so that worked pretty well. Uh, I still had some issues with this guy here um, because it's a free floating joint. Uh, it just wanted to rotate no matter how I turned the arm. So uh, I came over here and I get, did a little bit more tweaking on uh, some of the sides here. Um, let me turn, let's see, bolt base extension. Uh, turn that guy, that, is, that guy off, all right. Um, so I did a little bit of uh, work here. Let me time turn uh, base. I want to turn the base on, base top on. I want to turn the arm base, there we go. Um, so what I did is I created this little uh, kind of ribbed thing here so you can stick the arm and it would hold itself into place. Um, this particular design, it actually worked very well. Uh, I probably would have ran with it, except that this, um, this actually on, let me go with, turn that guy back on and then turn that off. So, and I'll turn this guy off just so you can see. So this was a little bit too small in here. Um, it didn't quite fit nicely. Uh, so I made the next version, which is version five. Uh, identical design, quite honestly. The only thing is I, I made this guy a little shorter, uh, which turned out to work perfectly. And then I, I increased the size of the chamfers on the T-slot here, just to make it a lot easier to slide into position. And then I made the, let's do base. Now we want to turn this guy off and that guy off. So I made uh, this a little bit smaller. Um, I probably actually made uh, the arm extension a little bit smaller, right? Um, nope, I made the arm base, this guy, yeah, so I'll turn the base off, there we go. <laughs> Too many different ones. I made this just a little bit um, wider, actually, not smaller, wider, so it fits a little bit more loosely, so when you print it, you got a lot more tolerances there. Um, so this is where I am right now in the design. Uh, let me turn everything on. I don't want to turn that on. I got camera holder. Turn these two guys on. So here's where I am on the design. Um, you, uh, What I did is I actually created a bunch of these arms and the base and then all the uh, miscellaneous parts and it works pretty darn well. I'm pretty happy with it. The only thing I would say is these slip a little bit, these joints, and I tried to put ribs in there. It turned out to be uh, uh, honestly, exceptionally difficult. Uh, <laughs> it, uh, I, I started creating the ribs on this guy, and it just, um, it you know, after about an hour and a half of farting around with it, it was just really, really hard. And then I would have had to create, you know, uh, this face, that face, this face, that face. Um, so I would have had an hour and a half in times four faces. So you're talking uh, a fair amount of time, six eight hours worth of uh, time. Um, ostensibly, I would get faster, but we'll see what happens. Uh, anyway, so I printed this out. It works pretty well, um, and uh, we'll switch over to the, the video, and I'll show it to you. Okay, so we're back. Uh, so here is the original design that I had. Hopefully, you all can see that. Um, the camera here, I'm going to do it this way, um, and zoom in a little bit here. Uh, so the uh, ball joint here just kind of flips around and then there's another um, turn it this way there's another ball joint there the theory is that this thing right here seats into the uh, the t-slot uh, and just kind of turns and then uh, you can rotate this around at any angle that you need necessary and then there were some screws or bolts that go in here and a bolt that goes obviously in here uh, well, it turns out no matter how much you tighten down this bolt, this thing still kind of moves around uh, with a very little pressure. So it, it didn't work uh, very well at all. So I went on to version 2, which I mentioned here, which is uh, this guy. Again, uh, let me show it to you. Uh, so it, it's, it's 
Right, oops, let me go, there you go. Um, so it's very straightforward. Uh, the kind of bolt on the bottom. Let me see if I there focus in on it. Um, the way it worked is uh, this guy kind of has, it attaches with the bolt here, right? Um, and then you can spin this any way that you want. And then this, uh, well, where, where the T-slot used to be, <laughs> um, it just it goes in and locks in and then you screw the bolt down. Um, and then, then that tightens up this, this joint here. And then this joint was free to turn. Well, uh, it turns out that that joint was free to turn even when you wanted the camera to stay in place. It was way too loose. Um, the original first, very first print was too tight. I wouldn't turn at all. Um, so I created a second version of this guy here, um, which is this guy. Zoom in a little bit, you can see. <laughs> uh, it, uh, it uh, It's too tight. It wouldn't go all the way down. Um, in fact, ah, there we go. Um, uh, you can see how what was intended to do here is the little uh, hex pattern there, whatever the ribs were going to, you know, fit nice into there. And then that you can put it at the angle that you wanted, and then it wouldn't turn. Um, if you wanted it at a different angle, you know, you can kind of do that. Um, so that uh, it worked well. It was just too tight. Uh, so I modified it again. Let's see. Let me go with this guy. Uh, this is going to be kind of hard to see. Because this is the final, I don't want to call it a prototype because it is the, <laughs> yeah, let me uh, fold it up so you can see it all in one magicness here. Um, so this is what I ended up with. Um, again, I know it's going to be really hard to see. Huh? Uh, so the bottom here, uh, same sort of T-bracket uh, that the, hold on, uh, there we go. Uh, same T sort of system that I had originally with the bolt here. Um, this bolt is a little bit shorter than the previous bolts. Um, it actually works really, really well. You can let me tighten it up here. Sorry, apologize. Um, you can see that it's only, uh, you know, uh, I think it's a half millimeter or so uh, below the water line, as it were. Um, and, but that gives just enough uh, distance between the bottom here and then the top here. Uh, to make it just a little bit at an angle and it makes it super tight and, and stiff against the, the V bracket. And then this guy here um, is a little bit loose, much, much looser than the previous version. So you can make it, um, you know, you can put it at different angles you know, like that, for example. Um, and then even though that this is straight, this is still at an angle, right? Um, so you can do whatever you want. Now, these guys are still, I mentioned this earlier, they're still a little loose. Um, I would like them to be tighter, but if you really kind of torque down the bolts, they can get uh, much tighter. Uh, and what I've done, you can see here, and this one, I put some tape on the inside. Um, zoom in on it. Um, put some tape on it. Uh, it actually causes a little more friction and it holds it into place. And then the last component here is this uh, guy that swivels and turns, um, right? Uh, and so you can create pretty much angle, any angle you want. And then this little bolt here uh, kind of tightens down on that neck and makes this uh, a lot more tight. So see, see. Um, and you can see how there's a little bit of uh, a distance between the this bolt here and the bottom here. So gives you a lot of play that you can uh, torque it down. Um, I would not recommend super, super, uber, duper tightening it, tightening it um, but I, I have used um, the pliers here. Oops, sorry, shaking the whole world. Uh, use the pliers to kind of uh, tighten down some of these bolts a little bit, just to give them an extra twist that I can't get with my finger and that makes it super tight so it doesn't move at all. Um, it's only about a quarter, eighth of a turn. Um, with the pliers, uh, you don't want to strip the threads, uh, the threads, or break um, this. Now I printed this in PLA. I'm sure if you print it in nylon or um, PET G or something else, uh, it might be a lot more strong, more resistant. Um, but I actually found this so far, this works really well. And so what I do with the CR10, and I took it off, but I can certainly show it to you. Uh, maybe be a picture at the end of the video. Um, something like this, uh, where the camera is. Uh, kind of facing down like that. Um, so it's on the top and the camera faces down. Um, I've also had it 
what I'll characterize as upside down or backwards like this, uh, like that. Um, so in Octopi, you just need to make sure that you invert your image. I've actually found this gives a kind of a straighter, more straight down view than having it um, kind of like that. Uh, but 61F does into the other, quite honestly. Um, it all depends what you want. Now this is me, I've mounted it, let me do this, I mounted it on the top of the CR-10. You can also mount it on the sides here or there. This is really hard. Um, or on the bottom rail there. Um, any place where there's an open uh, uh, T-slot, uh, you can put this in. So I think it's a lot, it's very flexible. And if you, you can also change out this head and put any camera mount you want on it just by creating, um, honestly, if I loosen this up, all you need to do, um, is create a new one of these guys, right? Um, put whatever you want with this post. I think it's um, five millimeters, might be six or eight millimeters uh, post. Um, but just create a new post and then you can screw it in and then it makes it super flexible. Uh, so you can use the whole infrastructure here um, and then all you would need is a different different head. Maybe if I get industrious for my, uh, my Prusa, I will uh, do something to that effect. Um, you would obviously need a different uh, mechanism here, but that's why it's bolted on. Um, this guy here, you can swap this out, maybe make it a, a snap joint onto the, the frame of the Prusa or something, um, like I did with the, uh, the filament holder. But uh, So that's where, are, that's where we are. All right, well, hey, thanks for watching. I hope you like this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. As always, if you don't, I would appreciate a thumbs up anyway. Don't forget to subscribe. Have a great night, everyone.